<clears throat> yeah, Shalom. This is the book of Jude, verse 24. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise power of our Savior be glory and majesty, dominion and power both now and ever, so be it. Giving all praises, all honor, and all glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, or Chaha Chodash. Double honor to my teachers, the apostles, the elders, and the bishops of Great Millstone who watch over our souls. Shalom to the Akim worldwide that are sincere and serious doing the will of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Bahasham Chaha Khwadash 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 1 and 2 to you all stay strong stay mighty see I'm the brother the disciple Kosha Banyame from the branch in Great Millstone Barbados um, you gotta forgive my voice uh, you saw I got some fuck going on in the here. A lot of people um in the hospital with dengue, flu like symptoms, diarrhea, etc. So to that way again, you don't even know we got a little diarrhea, etc. You know what I mean? But nevertheless this was probably my um well as of late the spirit had been getting on this group you see at the top Sakari, right? Um, and the doctrine, you see, no, it's past Saturday at camp. I didn't bring it up. The brother that on the other side of the line, he brought it up, right? I gotta let you hear it for yourself. You see, the spirit is always, um, the spirit is always, um, revealed to you, right? It's target, you see. So, let me just get to the exact mark and um, let me go from there on one side there's a little garment on the other side there's a little garment there's a little garment okay See the whole past. Remember, in the ancient world, never wore pants. So, so that would. Okay. See, like here, right? This one get the exact point where it started, right? As swift as the eagle flyeth, and nation moves tongue, thou shalt not understand. Right. So, somebody always going in the back door, like, oh, Judas will sell out, even sell out the Lord, you know what I mean? 30 shekels of silver. So you always got the sellers in these groups, man. Only only our Lord is who's gonna come back and redeem the nation of Israel. Oh, so that's right. Go ahead. Alright, we're gonna store. On one side, there's a garments. So one side have me in pants and the other side have me in pants. What says that? We might be trying to do verse five. We can't have a female pants, big man. For the more jam man, six sixteen. See the world pass. Remember in the Israel never wore pants, so so that would that would be so good. Why? Teach it that. That we get the story on the left hand side. Up on one side is female pants. Why know it's different? So I just show you how people, as you see, people selling out. People going off. Exactly, but you got camps, big on camp, look, I mean, the, and the camp going up. Even the camp, I realize that the camps, they're being hot. It's supposed to all cover your head. Exactly. Exactly. So there's two things I realize the men going off. Exactly. They're teaching their own to be a dog. Exactly. And not that side of the Lord. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Exactly. Hey, God, I love you. Man, this is Exactly. But if, if you go into the... If you go and look at the slave pictures, back in the day, you always see the women in, 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 in um, dresses. In dresses. Long dresses. So, why? 
he will come off of all this thing to be preaching that they got a female part. <laughs> So, hey, so, hey, so, hey, so hey. Why, where is a, where, where is a zinc for the, the pants? <laughs> if there's a female pants, Colossians chapter 2, so verse 8. Yes, Be rare, let any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after her mashiach. No, is that we live in the end? They want right, to adapt, they want to adapt. No, no, the no, you can't, no, you can't, you can't, you can't bend the word to, to please yeah, exactly. the time you live in it. No, wait, wait. I'm telling you, you can't bend the word to please what time you live in it, big man. I just quote the scripture. Seek the old past, where's the good way? And it's a, it's a, um, that's how you know Christianity encompasses the practices. I'm going to read that again. Colossians 2 verse 8. The realist any man spoil you to philosophy and vain deceit after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after the anointed one. For in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Clear. You understand? Know but again, you got men arising, speaking yeah. perverse things. I want to get that. To the Roman 20, 32, I'm summoned. Remember the most days. Consider the years of many generations. Ask thy father, and he will show thee. The elders, and he will tell thee. Exactly. Exactly, bro. I want to get that one too, man. You don't understand, but you hope a man can say, you got a female man. I, I, I can't get it on the sun. So if the coffee may pass way back in 1937, a woman there get killed, put to death in Puerto Rico. Uh-huh. Where a woman there get put to death? Uh-huh. 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 Reaches uh, thousands. But show but, me a spot. But, uh, the structures of the uh, fit men. But, but, it's, but right. then again, but then again, the more so you get, it's take away spirit from you. Because sort of okay, the man. The, the, the man start talking about foolishness. And they... Take it all piece by piece, exactly. and then take it all together. Exactly. Exactly, so you can destroy them. Exactly, brother. Jeez. Ah, chapter twenty. Ah, chapter twenty. So let me let you hear what he, what he brother talking about, and it's this video here. Mom is mad. Her daughter married an Israelite, Gorilla Hebrew, Sakari, and was. This so, carry it was there, whatever it is, man. So let, let me know you hear all oh, the his own mouth. Why would you say he put words in his mouth? But the brother was watching this video here, <clears throat> and um, this is what he talking about here at camp. So I look on, I tell you, send me the video he talking about. So this video here, man. I don't know why, 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 come up to the camp, men bosses get weak. And you can see how the woman dressed already, she gonna see true fucking. I see true fucking dress. Oh, she party trying. Like, what the fuck wrong with women do? Like, y'all need, y'all crave that attention so damn much. But let me do it here for yourself, man. Let me do it here for yourself, man. Speaking of her own opinion, that's not a fact. Yeah, that way, Lord said in Proverbs 8, verse 4, Unto you, all men, I call, and my voices to the sons of men. I can wear pants if I want to wear pants. Section, and a women's section, and in the women's section, there's pants. Those pants cannot pertain to a man. 
because they were made for a woman. So I disagree with their interpretation of that Bible. If you got on dress, you already fuck this man that's there. You can't, for Christ's sake, this the. the most of these stores are run by heathens, first and foremost. Secondly, do they cater to the laws? If I go in a store and it's, it's female pants, or, it's male pants on one side and female pants on the other they were made for women. For Christ's sake, it goes back to a heathen practice. I don't know how, what you want to make teaching, though. Anyhow, anyhow. The pants that you got out of the women's section, those are women's pants. So the idea that pants are inherently exclusively for men is not an idea that he subscribes to. Moreover, when you actually observe that verse in the original language in Hebrew, it ain't got nothing to do with men. It has something to do with warriors. So essentially what it was telling you is women weren't getting sent out to war. There were specific war garments that the ancient Israelites wore. So what they were telling you is women don't get put in war armor and sent out to battle. That's really what that verse is talking about. Not ancient Israelites, big man. Look, hold on a minute, man. Let me go here, man. Always want some, always want some deep. You just bend, you just bend the scripture to please a fucking woman. Sundry laws, which means diverse. Deuteronomy 22, verse 5. The woman shut. What, what was the what was the purpose of the laws? To differentiate the holy from the profane. Who is the profane? The heathens. The Lord set us up, set us up, set us apart from the heathens by His laws because their practices were abominable. Deuteronomy twenty verse five: The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment, for all that do so are abomination unto Yahweh thy power. So let me go into it here, man. Let me go into it here, man. I had a woman come to me a couple of weeks, uh, uh, like last year, with this same fucking thing too. Oh, let me make a real pass because there was warriors. Can't say what a, it was. Let me go into it here, man. Let me go into it, man. You actually worshipping the God. Venus. The female, the female goddess Venus. And that's what the Lord said, don't do after the customs of the heathen. Oh, shoot, but no, boy, a fat ass woman coming here, boy. Let me show you how deep he is. That verse doesn't really talk about that. That verse talks about female warriors in nation Israel. I can't let you... Anyhow, that really irritated me, right? Um, let me just get straight to the point here, man. Right? Deuteronomy 22, verse 5 to 12. Here are several laws in these verses which seem to stoop very low and to take cognizance of things mean and minute. Uh, men's laws commonly do not do not so uh, where is it good look at here sorry so look here there's the point here look the distinction of sexes by the apparel is to be kept is to be kept up for the preservation of our own and our neighbor's chastity this means purity. You see? Nature itself teaches that a difference be made between them in their hair. A man should got long hair, etc. And by the same rule in their clothes, which therefore ought not to be confounded either in ordinary wear or occasionally. To befriend a lawful escape or concealment, it may be done, but whether for sport 
or in the acting of plays to is justly questionable. Lucky a minute. Get my glasses, man. Let me get my glasses here in a minute, man. Oh, so fucking... Good. Continuing here. Something. It refers to the idolatrous custom of the Gentiles in the worship of Venus. Women appeared in armor and men in women's clothes. This, as other such superstitious usages, is here said to be an abomination to the Lord. You see that? So this goes back to worshipping the god Venus. Women appeared in armor. It forbids the conformity of the dispositions and affairs of the sexes. Men must not be effeminate, nor do the women's work in the nor nor do the women's work in the house. Nor must women be virigous, pretend to teach or usurp authority. <clears throat> Probably this component of garments had been used to gain opportunity of committing uncleanness and is therefore forbidden. For those that would be kept from sin must keep themselves from all occasions of it and approaches to it. So for Christ's sake, this goes back to a gentle custom, a heathen custom, worship of Venus. The planet will be a woman too. Will be a female. Look, look at here, look. See? Venus goddess. So to honor her, women will put on pants. Dress up as warriors. That's the that's a gentle custom. This was not a custom of the nation of Israel. That's why the Lord put the laws there. He put the laws there for us, big man. That we won't do as the heathens do. For the customs of the people are vain. Women appeared in armor and men in women's clothes. So you see? So there's a, there's a heathen custom, big man. That's why it says, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. It came back to the history of how these heathens will do things as such. See, Lord said a difference between the... I want to have the precept here, man. Um, between the holy... Wait a minute, Salah, like a minute, man. Between the holy... I believe there's a preset here, man. Hold a minute. Um, Ezekiel 44, 23. And they shall teach my people the difference between the holy and profane and cause them to discern between the unclean and the clean. That's what a priest is supposed to do. And this is what the law was here for. So I don't know what the, I don't know what this what, what, I mean you let me let me lay here again, man. So I disagree. So when I say every Israelite now in general, inherently exclusively for men is not an idea that we subscribe to. Moreover, when you actually observe that verse in the original language in Hebrew, it ain't got nothing to do with men. That's a 
women through the warrior. So essentially what it was telling you is women weren't getting sent out to war. There were specific war garments that the ancient Israelites wore. So what they were telling you is women don't get put in war armor and sent out to battle. That's really what their verse is talking about. My big man, that is not what the verse is talking about, can't you? Huh? It's a heathen practice. Where is it, man? It's a heathen practice, big man. Where is it going? Wait, look like it going, man. Let me see if we get it back, man. It was a heathen practice, B. Let me bring it back up again, man. That's where the law put the laws there. What was what, that preset, boy? Um, um, Deuteronomy four. Wait a minute. That Deuteronomy four. Um, Deuteronomy four. Let me see if I write. Uh, Israel urged to obey Yahweh's laws. Um, let me start at one one. Now, therefore, hearken, O Israel, unto the statutes and unto the judgments which I teach you, for how to do them. That ye may live and go in and possess the land which the Yahweh thy power of your fathers giveth you. Ye shall not add unto the word which I command you, neither shall ye diminish aught from it. That ye may keep the commandments of Yahweh your power which I command you. <clears throat> we jump down here, man. Verse 5 Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments. Even as Yahweh my power commanded me that ye should do so in the land where you go to possess it. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations. You see that? It is our wisdom and our understanding. We shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. So the nations didn't have these statues. Commandments and laws, man. You see? And I just showed you. Let me go back there, man. It was a heathen practice. Seeing about Deuteronomy. Get back to Deuteronomy 22. I don't know what it's going. It was a heathen practice, big man. Oh, as a woman come up, go up, blame when I lose all one of its. When I must appear deep. They would the verse actually mean, man. And that's the reason why the Lord put the laws there. To differentiate us between them. Surely this great nation is a wise, a wise and understanding people. The distinction of sexes by the apparel is to be kept up. For the preservation of... Oh, I wonder if that woman get that from he That come to me last year or so. Anyhow. for Because she knows she's in Israel. Like, I wonder if she get that from he Anyhow, the distinction of sexes by the apparel is to be kept up. For the preservation of our own and our neighbor's chastity. Nature itself teaches that a difference be made between them and their hair. A man should not have long hair. Etc. And by the same rule in their clothes, which therefore ought not to be confounded either in ordinary wear or occasionally. To befriend a lawful escape or consumer, it may be done, but <clears throat> whether for a sport or in the acting of plays is justly questionable. Something refers to the idolatrous custom of the Gentiles in the worship of Venus. <clears throat> women appear in armor and men in women's clothes. Even this part here to befriend a lawful escape or concealment. That's still that going off too. Big man. Because just see above here it is to be kept. Kept up. When, you, when, when um, was it Jonah? I think it was Jonah and, and the spies. When they had to escape. Um, rid of, I forget where it was. Then they had to put a dime in his clothing. Grab the harlot and help them out, big man. Anyhow, Gentiles, uh, something, it refers to the idolatrous custom of the Gentiles in the worship of Venus. Women appeared in armor and men in women's clothes. This, as other such superstitious usages, is here said to be 
an abomination to the Lord. That's plain, big man. <clears throat> look, they, look, they make the time over here, look. It's a gentile custom, big man. Honoring Venus. Yeah, you telling me at all, though. Women warriors walk. Anyhow, man, I ain't gonna send them more, man. I ain't gonna send them more, man. I take the point in the man. Take the point in the The training verse. Yo, Verse 20, verse 25. But now, behold, I know that ye, I know that ye all among whom I have gone preaching the kingdom of the Mosai shall see my face no more. Wherefore, I take you to record this day that I am pure from the blood of all men. For I have not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of the Mosai. Take ye therefore unto yourselves and to the flock over the which the Holy Spirit have made you overseers to feed the church of the Mosai, which he have purchased with his own blood. Hear that? Yahweh said, Yo, to feed the church of the Mosai, which Yahweh said, put it with his own blood. So, tell us how you was brought back, big man. Should this brother go, Lord? Yeah, I will show you, brother. You got men go talk, can't preach, can't, brother. Alright, so what's it now? You got female, you got female, Verse 16. And they're provoking to jealousy, to strange God. With abomination, provoking their, provoke their him to anger. Yeah. They sacrifice all the devils and right. not to God. Yeah, that's what they're doing. <laughs> so when he teaching to go and tell him with their female parts, he don't understand that he's causing her to sin. Sacrifice the, the idols, big man. She, he hasn't fully cleansed her, brother. He hasn't fully given her the word, big man. Acts 20, 29. For I know this, that after my departing, shall grievous wolves enter in among you, not sparing the flock. What wolf was doing, brother? He tear you apart, brother. So what he doing? He tearing them apart, big man. He feeding them. Give me jam, brother. Jam, man. 23 and 1. So he ain't about to tear it apart, but when I say a wolf tear it apart, he ain't feeling it. A wolf clear. It's, a it's a metaphor. It's a metaphor. It's a metaphor, it's a metaphor brother. So he destroys. He, he destroys them like a wolf destroys his prey. Right, right. Jeremiah 23 and 1. Is that it? Also, of your own self shall men arise speaking for first things to draw away disciples after them. Therefore, watch, I remember that by the space of three years I cease not to warn every one of to every to warn. Everyone night and day with tears. Yeah, the apostle Paul put on his heart. Wait. Jeremiah 23 verse 1. Yeah, one, wait. To, one, one be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sea of my pastor, said the Lord. That we doing, big man. Go and continue. Therefore, thus said the Lord God of Israel, against the pastor that feed my people, he have scattered my flock and have driven them away. I have not visited them. The world I will visit upon you, evils of your doing, see? said the Lord. See? Do you matter time, big man? Do you matter time? Oh, you might have big man. I hear you, my son. You might have been. I am the. 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 I am
Yeah. It's not what go into your body, but that, come out and defeat. Can you please get that? That's in. That's in. Um, that's in. 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 Into the mouth, the fellas here, man. Right. But that fish come out of the mouth. Right. This the fellas here, man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Continue, man. Go to verse twelve, man. Verse 12. Then came his disciples and said unto him, Yeah. No, it's those that the Pharisees are offended. Uh. After they heard the scene. Yeah, right. But he answered and said, Yeah. Every plant which my have not planted, right, right. shall be rooted up. Jesus. And that's a metaphor again. Yeah, 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 yeah. But well, you can root up the main brother, right, that's right. right. down the marriage, right. brother. Right. You can destroy them. Yeah, right. Oh, Let them alone. They'll be blind leaders of blind. Yeah. And if blind lead, the blind boys shall fall in the day. So you got one person that's seeing blurry images, leading somebody that's totally blind. So he. God understands the Bible per se, but he misleading the flock, so he, 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 he's blurry, brother. I also want to go with my own, with my own, with my own, with my own. I can tell you what you know, man. I can tell you what you know, brother. I can tell you what you know, man. Yeah, for the people. Yeah, they're here, he's just saying, but bring it in like that. So he's going with it, he's like that, man. Philippians, shout out. Shout out, man.